I believe the uncomfortable conversations need to be had for education, for healing, and to eventually move forward. Right now, the uncomfortable conversation of racism needs to take place. So, for the second time, I'm sitting down with who they call Britain's number one racist, Tommy Robinson. But this time, it's a little bit different. We have a studio audience who will get to fire both questions at me and Tommy Robinson. Many did not want this dialogue to happen again. But I believe that the world and the country need to hear it. So, buckle up. This could be explosive. Tommy, thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Second time we've sat down now. It is. Right. Um, I'm going to make a statement first. Cool. Then I'm going to ask you a question. Yep. Um, I think you're a smart man. I think you're an intelligent man. Um, I've seen you use social media to your advantage. You've got a following of thousands, both here and around the world. Um, I've seen you get the better of interviewers and interviews. And I think you're media savvy. Um, I say that to say this. I find it hard to believe that last month when you made what I would describe as an angry racist rant, yep. that you didn't know that you were lighting a fire for a potential race right in the UK. Okay. Did you know that's what you were doing? Um, I disagree that I made, an, I made an angry rant. I don't disagree on that for a start. You said an angry racist rant. Mm -hmm. um, I totally, My yeah, I totally disagree on, on that fact. Did I realise the consequence of what it was going to do? No. Mm. Hands up! I, I sat there and I watched the demonstrations that played off in London mm -hmm. live. I didn't go. I made the decision not to go because I thought my presence there would have provoked, provoked an even worse reaction. Um, and I sat there watching it, thinking, I just hope someone don't die today because I generally. I saw it play out after 72 hours and I thought I could see how it was taken, I could see how it played out. And um, yeah, when you talk about the racist rant, should we get onto that bit? We can definitely get onto that bit. So what you said in the rant, yep. you called on the FLA. Remember, me, me and you sat down yep. to about two years ago. Yep. We haven't spoken since. No. Um, people seem to think that me and you are friends that we're buddies and we're going on holiday together or something. Yeah. Um, but when you sat down with me two years ago, I asked you whether or not you were a racist. Yep. And you said, I'm not a racist, bruv. Yeah. But in that rant, you specifically called up on the Football Lads Alliance. Yep. Right? Now, I have no problem with the Football Lads Alliance. You're aware, um, you're aware though, many of them aren't white, yeah? Um, well, that, that's what we're going to get to. Yeah. It's not littered with black fa fa faces. The Football Lads Alliance is not littered with black faces. Plus, there's been many black. There's many black faces. I can show you images or pictures from demonstrations. I'm not here to defend the FLA. I'm not, I'm not a, a member of the FLA, but the FLA certainly is not a racist organisation. However, you know though, yeah. you know, when I sat down last time with you, that we, I said that there are a lot of racist people that follow you. If you look at the comment section of your videos, that's what I specifically said. Yeah. So when you made that rant and you said, "Our." country yep that's what you said in that run yep. now if you're calling on the football lads alliance who's predominantly white you say our country i don't think you were talking about people that look like me that's what you don't think i generally was talking about our country everyone's country if we start because we're starting on the blm yeah with uh, my run at, at, at no point did i talk about black community i spoke every part of my run was blm yeah every part that we can pull up I was talking about BLM. Now, what, when I'm talking about BLM, because I know it's took four weeks now, five weeks for certain people within the black community and the, and the wider community to realise what BLM is. It took a while for the Premier League to start realising what it is. It took a while for a lot of people to realise what it is. Mm -hmm. So, all right, this is from Black Lives Matter's website. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure. structure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this organisation, its purpose is to disrupt the family structure. I agree. This is from their website. 
We foster a queer referrum network when we gather. We do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking. thinking. I, I know it. I, yeah? I know it. But how many other black people know this? I don't no, know. Right? So, because I know this. Now, they want to destroy capitalism. What problems, for me, the reason why I get so angry, or got so angry, I see the black community totally walking and being used by a Marxist organisation, a hate group that's come out of the United States, that's founded by three lesbian Marxists whose sole purpose is to destroy the family, keep blacks reliant on the state. Um, in fact, even when you what go... What did that have to do with your rant, though? I'll tell you what it had to... Well, because the Black Lives Matter is an organisation... You, sa you said in your rant yeah. to the police, you were saying, yeah. why did you not arrest them? It's because they're not white. It's, it, it was. Um, the, the reason... I've, been, how many, I've, I've organised hundreds of demonstrations. The police, as soon as they turn up, you saw how they turned up the next week when people were going to support or, uh, or to prevent people smashing up war memorials. They turned up with riot shields and, and police guards. I've never seen the police on flat caps, never on a demonstration. That's, and in fact, the police demanded an apology of their leaders for how they were made to police that demonstration. They were made to police that demonstration to take a beating. They were allowed their police officers to take a beating. So when I'm having a rant, and Again, that's nothing to do with racism. If I'm saying... Tommy, if you're calling upon the Football Lads Alliance... Yes. You're talking about our country, OK? This is Our not, country. Yep. The, it, it, the Football Lads Alliance is predominantly a white organisation. We're in a predominantly white, a predominantly white of country. Of course, but you already know that there are definitely fringe... There are fringe parts of this country mm. that are racist that listen to you. Are you under... But hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that that listen to you, yep. okay? There, there are literally people in this country salivating at the mouth for a quote-unquote race war with people who they think are not from, quote-unquote, our country. So when you use language like that, yep. you're talking to a certain constituent Bro, in this country. BLM have done more as an organisation to destroy race relations in four weeks than any racist. I have fought for 10 years against FNATs, organisations and far right. I was hoping to play you a video today to show people actually, if you go through what I've done for 10 years, I've battled them. Yeah? I've battled them based on race. Yeah? I've bat I'm known as a race trait in Zionist yeah? to the racist. Yeah? To the ordinary British man who's watching what BLM are, I've known what these are for 10 years. I'm just going to say I know this about, where BLM, yeah. about BLM. The Black Opinion is our talk show, is my talk show. Okay, no one at the Black Opinion aligns themselves with BLM. We believe it's a Marxist organization. I want people to know, okay, that the, at the Black Opinion, on this talk show, me, myself, Sarah Garvey, I don't align myself, but what we do align ourselves with is the statement that black lives matter. We believe black lives do matter. However, can we you don't- Can you march under the banner Black Lives Matter and disagree with all of this stuff? No, we, I, can t I can say, and here at the Black Opinion, we can say, that we agree that black lives do matter. However, we distance ourselves from, like you said, and I agree, it's a Marxist organisation. That's got nothing to do with us. But, but when, you see, when you see the chaos that this organisation caused in the number of weeks, when you look in... Say, when I you don't look, believe black lives matter, care about black lives. They don't if, at if, all, if, 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 which is what I get angry about and frustrated yeah. about because I believe totally you're being totally used by an organisation that want to cause destruction. And not just to cause destruction, they want to destroy race relations. And they've done, and, and look, I hold my hands up. I played my part in my angry little rant, which is why I made a video counter, uh, made a video afterwards to say. We'll get onto that. We'll get onto that. It's made, why I made a video afterwards to say, look, defund the police. How many black people in, the, in this country really want to get rid of the police force? Right? They want to get rid of them. Why do they want to get rid of them? Because they want total anarchy and chaos, as we're seeing in the United States. In one two year period alone, Black Lives Matter activists executed 11 people. 11 people. You've seen the amount of black people who are, now being, who are now dying at the hands of Black Lives Matter and the rallies that they're... Or, can we, or, or the anger that they're bringing. So, and again, if I go on to research, do you believe black people are being disproportionately murdered by the police? I'll tell, tell you what I do know. Yeah. In America, specifically, yep. in 2006, yep. the FBI yep. done a nine-page report. Yep. If you want to look at it, if anyone else wants to look at it, I've it's on... It. I've looked at Documentcloud.org. About white supremacists They have, in, they have investigated that there are white supremacist neo-Nazi gangs infiltrating the police forces of America. Yep. Okay? That's the FBI. But if we go back, if we go back, black people have known that there have been 
uh, white supremacists within the police force of America for a long time. If we go back to 1988, right? NWA, which is a rap group, made a song called Fuck the Police. Why did they make that? They were speaking about the police brutality within their song. If we go to 1991, we find the LAPD and the CCTV, well, the, the video footage that surfaced of them beating Rodney King to within an inch of his life. Okay, if we go to 1992, uh, Ice-T made a song called Cop Killer. Okay, black people for a long time in America have known that there have been racist elements within the police force. So whether or not they're disproportionately killed, there are more white people in America anyway, Tommy. No, I, okay? I, know, I know, but the but point, what, but, the point but, is... But hang on, but, 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 but I said, we know this and we have known this. It's only to 2006 the FBI have investigated it. We've known it from before 2006. So when George Floyd has his is on the floor and an officer has his knee on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds, Tommy. You have to understand the kind of anger and fury that would cause. I do, because it was horrific and devastating to watch. There was an incident the year before where an officer had his knee on a white man's neck for 13 minutes and then they all stood and joked after he was dead. This, in the same police force, in the same police force, a white woman in her pyjamas rang the police a black police officer turned up and shot her dead through a window. I'm not saying that was racist. I'm not saying the white man getting murdered was racist. What I'm saying is that BLM are using horrific incidences because my friends, and I have many black friends who have actually not talked to me since my rant on BLM. Which I, I was going to ask you about it. How are your, back, your quote unquote I find black it, friends it, now? I find it totally upsetting, bro. I find, and, and I, I, my mate come around and said, yeah, they're disappointed. I said, I'm disappointed. I feel You're disappointed. You're disappointed in yourself? I'm disappointed in my rant. Yeah, I'm disappointed in my rant. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that many in the black community have not woke up to this. What is it that got you so angry during that rant that you, you went on that rant? The way, because I've seen what's happened in the United States for the last 10 years, yeah, everything is about race. It is total race bait in politics. And now I know it's here. And I see the damage it's done over there. And I can see the damage it's going to do here. And if you look, and say for example, Don't you, do you think you've helped towards in that, that? In that in that rant, no, I didn't. And the reason I've, I've Tommy, come on. Yeah, in that rant, no, I didn't. Tommy, come on. Uh, but, you don't believe that you've helped, you, or you've you you've helped drive a wedge oh, yeah, between I do, yeah. race no, relations totally, yeah. in yeah, the totally. country. No, totally. In that rant, yeah, totally, I do. Right. <laughs> okay. Totally, I do. Hundred percent. And I and once I saw that and how it played out, but then after that. That's when I've, I've looked at what's happened. I've looked at what's happening. I'm looking at how it's playing out. Say, for example, say for example, Black Pound Day. Yeah? Mm -hmm. what, what's that the, I support, by the way. Okay, so Black Pound Day. Yeah. If you go online, because I've done it, mm -hmm. take the comments underneath Black Pound Day mm -hmm. and read how many positive and how many are negative. It's a 93% negative impact. What do you mean? I mean the public are totally against it. And, and, and do- <laughs> The white public. No, the, the public, 93%. Now, if it's- The a, black public, I'm, I'm not going to be in that 93% to me. It's, it's, okay. Well, there might be okay. some, but... But what I mean is, is that, gen is that doing good for race relations? Is, is that idea of... Say, for example, a white man come out and said, only shop in white businesses. Today. Let me... I'll make it make it's sense. Not, yeah, I'll try and make it make sense yeah. to you, yeah? Okay. And it's about capitalism, yeah? <laughs> yeah, That's what but, no, but I'll try and make it make yeah. sense to you. Yeah, you're yeah, cool. Black people across the globe yeah. and in Great Britain find themselves at the bottom of the social economic ladder. Yep. Right? So, if we look at the Jewish community, for instance, yep. the Jewish pound... Yeah, circulates their community at least seven times before it exits their community, which means they spend within their community. Asian communities, I think three to four times, something like that. If black people find themselves at the bottom of the social economic ladder, we are going to have to spend of ourselves to keep the money and to, and to help grow our wealth. So Black Pound Day is born out of a necessity for black people to spend among themselves. And, and, and I've said this so many times, I am about black people that's, raising That's themselves. not going to work. That's going to have the advert. If you read the comments, which is what I've done on each one of these, I read the comments. Even in, in the United States, I think there's 25 black-owned banks. 25. Right. One trillion pound a year. All they put back into black community is 0.5%. Yeah? Right. But have a go at them. Yeah? That, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that's, there's money there to be regenerated from black business, from success. Yeah? There's right. money there. Right. What, I can't what see I'm, how you're having a, 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 something uh, wrong with black pound, eh? Because, I'm saying, read the comments. Because if someone said white pound... By who? By who? Who's the comments by? The general By public. mostly white gen people, Okay, Tommy. okay. They don't get it. And this is the point. But it has we, the, I'm, I'm going to try and make people get it. Well, it has the adverse as effect. To why. It has the adverse effect to what you're trying to do. Yeah? Because comments underneath said, I'll never shop in a black business again after this. I'll never... I'm just reading the comments. Because it's like Anthony Joshua... It, it, well, they're it, not doing us a favour by shopping with us. Before, if you say, oh, I'll never shop in a black business, 
Um, again, you're I didn't acting like you're doing black people a favour. I didn't say that. I'm reading. All right, I'm we don't want your money. I'm talking about comments underneath. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm talking. Black businesses would probably collapse. Many of them, if if the rest of the rest of communities didn't shop in their businesses, which is what the divisive nature of something like that. All we've seen, all I've seen since Black BLM is divide, divide, divide. Whether it be Black Pound Day, you may support it. I'm talking about the general public will not support. The general white club public, Tommy. Well, the general public in this country is white. That's what I'm trying to say. So you, obviously, they, what I'm trying to But it's make... causing a divide. Like you, even, even, even the, the uh, Black Lives Matter on football clubs, on the back of their tops, read the comment section. On Burnley, it's 80, when Burnley put out a statement, when Talk Sport put out a statement, I've gone through all of the comment sections, it's 80% against it. So the jet, and I'm just talking saying that, that, that as a black man, or as a black, members of the black community, I'm talking the non-black community, every, say like my friends, if I line up my friends, I've got 50 friends, yeah? 30, 30 are white, 20 are black. Mm -hmm. All of the black lads are, set, are supportive Black Lives Matter, yeah? without even knowing what it is. The 30 white lads are all saying, I've had enough of this, I've had, but they're all best mates. But because it feels like it's totally shoved down their throat. And when you go and do the numbers, say for do example- you know, Do you know what I've noticed, sorry, do you know what I've noticed, right? Um, with white people specifically. Um, when uh, black people start to at least try, right, to help themselves off the bottom of the social economic ladder, white people, a lot of white people seem to have a problem with that. No, but I totally do. Mate, they I'm, seem to have you, a problem. You, and I don't, know, and the thing is, if we're talking hang, about equality, hang on, Tommy. Yeah, I'll tell you about black people, right? Black people want one, well, maybe three things. They want equal rights and justice, they want to be treated fairly, yeah, and they want to be seen as a human being. We don't want to hurt, kill, shoot, maim, colonise, enslave. We don't desire any of that, okay? What we want to do, we want to be able to determine ourselves. But it seems like when we try to determine ourselves, which every other community, Maybe. hang on Tommy, every other community de determines themselves. Yeah. The Asian community, the Jewish community, um, the Chinese community, any, every other um, community determines themselves. But when black people try to determine themselves, it seems to be a problem for people. It's, it's because, if it, look, if there was an organisation, if black communities started marching for equality, I'd be wanting to march with them, okay? They haven't come out marching for equality, they've come out marching for Marxism. They've not just come out marching for Marxism, they've come out marching for a violent Marxist organisation who want to disrupt the family nucleus, who want to... I who, don't disagree with you, no, I don't but, give but a what damn I mean about when, Black when, when you matter. say when... Yeah, but that Black Lives Matter has become the black community. It, and I can see that by when I've gone on a rant, it's not people who support this that are angry with me, it's, in general, even my black mates. And I'm saying, listen, I'm talking about BLM. I'm talking about an organisation that represents all of these things. Every single thing I pull on here, not, the average black man won't agree with. And when, and you know, it pains me to sit and think, race relations are being destroyed, we're being taken back 40 years, yeah? And all under the banner of Marxism and communism. And you see this, there's a push coming. There is a massive struggle coming in this country yeah. and across the globe, yeah? yeah? And it's been coming for years. And it's gonna be a fight for freedom. And I always thought it was gonna be a fight for freedom against Islamism. It's not, it's gonna be a fight for freedom against communism. Now in that fight for freedom, I always saw the black community with us. And, and in four weeks, been, the community in general have been totally hoodwinked and taken under a Marxist Are flag. You, would you class yourself as a white nationalist now, Tommy? When you say what na nationalist, in what sense? Because I'll, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, I don't care about the colour of someone's skin. I don't care about the colour no, of... No, alright, so, okay, so let me break it down. So, white nationalism, yep. historically, yeah, has... This is, this is the thing about white nationalism. And, this, and one of the reasons, because I can see the thing with black people is that we never get a verbal confirmation of whether someone is racist or not. I asked you last time, yeah. right, whether you were a racist. You said, no, I'm not a racist. However, I said, when I looked at your rant, it seemed like an angry racist rant to me. What did I say? To me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tell me what I said there's because racist. Because you specified, okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. Mm. So we never get a verbal confirmation of whether Are you someone... racist? No. You're not racist? No, I'm not racist. But, yeah, but see, I see Black Pound Day as racist. Hang on. Pound, hang on, hang on, hang on. We... <laughs> I see, te I, see te I do. I, All right, I, I let me, see, let me I just see. finish what I'm saying. So yeah. we never get a verbal confirmation of whether or not um, a white person is a racist. I doubt that any black person in this audience has ever asked a, black per uh, ever asked a white person if they're racist and got, the, and got the, the answer yes. We never get an answer yes. So what we now have to do, because we have to be smart, we have to look at the actions oh, of God. people. Because we, 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 okay. we can't get a verbal confirmation. Can I show you a video? Can, get, get your laptop. Can I show you a video? Let me show you a video. You can show me a video. Pass me, pass me a laptop. You load it up. I'm going to show you actions of my comments, of what I've done. One of, everyone says I'm violent. 
yeah, for knocking out a Nazi. I'll show you a video of total actions. So what you're, what, what you're actually doing at the minute is you're wishing to judge my actions against the black community on a 10 minute rant against Black Lives Matter. Do you know what, Tommy? Rather than no, my actions Tommy, across 10 years. If something movie. is not in you, yeah. it can't come out of you. It's not in me, it hasn't come out of me. A rant against the BLM. The only thing that can come out of you, Tommy, is what's inside you. Am I right? You've said you disagree with BLM. You've said you don't I agree with I don't give this. a damn about BLM. So what's the problem with me ranting about BLM? I don't care about but you. But that's what I did. But you, but you were also ranting about the statues and Winston Churchill. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you say our, again, when you go back to Are you to aware our, the majority of this country on. have deep respect for Winston Churchill? Hang on, Churchill. when you say our country, yeah. the reason why, which is very interesting. When where's your, Ed, where's your, Ed, parents, on, where's your Ed, parents from? They're from Jamaica. Edward so, Coulson, so, yeah. Edward Coulson, mm. right, was taken down yep. in Bristol, yep. right? Edward Coulson was taken down in Bristol. Now, when you look at that... I didn't know who he was. Well, when you look at that picture, yep. it's not um, black people taking down No, it's that. 200 white people, Marxists, left-wing, left-wing... So when you're talking top, about statues... Top all, top, all the sta top all the statues website is linked to the anti-Trump -Trump coalition. The organisation who are pushing to top all statues in your community's name is mostly not your community who want the statues pulled down. But who, who are the majority of the British public getting frustrated and angry with? The black community is my point entirely, which is why I get so, so frustrated. I think the people who are doing all of this are Marxist, left-wing, anti-fascist, socialists, communists, all of them are under one umbrella. Can, and have you got, will, will you be able to hear this? Yeah, put it up to get against your... I'll put it up against... Your, or your mic. So. Well, there's two things that need to be said. Some well-liked people left recently. Well, I like them. People left. They weren't kicked out, they left. There's a lot more meets the eye. Okay? Certain people have been working behind the scenes, infiltrating this organisation. Okay? Old Paul by Nick Griffin, putting out his messages. Yeah? But this has been orchestrated in a way, we built the English Defence League for three years, not the British National Party, we built the English Defence League for three years. Yeah? Now certain people chose their moment, they chose their moment to cause division, to cause splits. We have all these different little groups popping up on Facebook with this name and that name. Anyone can start a group and put a name on it, stick your face in front of it. They're not going to, they're not going to do it. I see them all starting. They rose to the top and they keep choosing their moments. They sit there waiting and then they jump in like vultures. Because what they want, they want me gone and they want a leader that will work with Nick Griffin. Yeah. Now I will never work with Nick Griffin. I will never work with Nick Griffin. The reason why I will not work with Nick Griffin, because if, if he had his way, my mum wouldn't be here, that lad there wouldn't be here, yeah? he wouldn't be here, he's a Roman, okay, he is, and I keep getting told that when the, when the National Front hold a demonstration, they get 12 people, okay, when the BNP hold a demonstration, they get 50 people. When Nick Griffin was on question time, how many people were outside supporting him? None. Okay? Because it's embarrassing to stand under that banner. Now, I hear a lot of people whispering it, a lot of people saying it. You'll the see over the next, this is a five minute seven minute video. Matter. You're the thing on the street. So let's see. This is me asking my support. Put your hand in the air if you want this movement to stand with the British National Party. Put your hand in the air. I'll say that again. I'm asking my supporters, put your hand in the air if you want to stand with the British National Party. Yeah. Yeah. Because the I the National Party. many people in my movement want them. So, so I'll kick them all out. Today the English Defence League has spoken, yeah? We've spoken. We know who we are. We're our own movement. We're our own organisation. And then? There's a few other things we need to clear up as well, yeah? We've seen Nazis. I've heard certain people are in this demonstration today. Any salmon is one of them. Right? Nazis. We do not welcome Nazis. What this will now do is show you my hometown on St George's Day that I organised. We'll pause it, we'll pause it and come back to it. So yeah. I have a I have a um, personal thing, right? And I believe that there's a scale of racism. Yep. Right? 
this is just my own personal thing. On one, on, on one, le- on one end of the scale, you will have Nazis, yeah. people who want to see slavery come back, people who want to see people hanged again, right? On the other scale, on the other side, you'll probably have people just ignorant. They don't really know black people. They haven't been around any person of color, right? Don't really know much. And it's my personal belief that somewhere in between that scale, you sit. Yeah, but that's a ridiculous belief. As I said, if you want to carry on watching it. You'll see in a minute. From day dot, there's no one who's done that. And generally, in fact, I know you're going to all think this is stupid. There's no one in this country that's done more to confront the racists for the last 10 years than me. Leading the English Defence League, I had to battle with them physically. I had them, t- I had them turn up in Luton to fight me. We had running battles. You'll see the battles in here. I hold up the Sikh boy's hand and say, he's as British as me. If you don't like what you see, you're in the wrong movement. I've done more. I've, I've seen that. I've confronted them at every single angle. So what I do feel aggrieved when I see the black community judging me on a 10 minute little rant. Because in that 10 minute little rant, rant I'm justified to be angry against BLM. And so are every one of you. But hang on. You should be angry against that organisation, which is tarn- you- tarnishing your community. It's absolutely ripping your community's name through the mud. I tell you who you should have been angry at as well. Go on. Antifa. I hate, no, I hate Antifa. Hang on. But Antifa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on Antifa, RBLM. You didn't. Listen, that rant, yeah. a lot of it was because, right, yeah. that statues were brought down and they were going to go for Winston Churchill, apparently, or they thought they were going to go for Winston Churchill. Yeah, they named right? him and Gladstone. Him and Gladstone. Okay. But that wasn't black. That wasn't BLM, no, and that wasn't black people. That was Antifa. But BLM, but that, BLM but is Antifa. On, BLM is Antifa. Hang on. Same organisation. Okay, they're funded by the same. It's exactly they're, they're the same organisation. But you didn't make a rant at Antifa, though. You made a rant at Black Lives Matter. I made a rant sitting here, like it. Say, say, let's say we're here, yeah. Say we're sat here now. I'm sat at home, and in fact, I'll give, I'll give you the background story to it. Um, I've been arrested. Up, I was up north, um, covering a rape story for a, for a girl. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's going to surprise a lot of people, this rape story. There's a massive campaign called Justice for Ellie, a girl who says she's been raped by lots of Muslim gangs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not actually the way I think it, the story goes, but I was investigating that. I'd been a, someone spat in my face and uh, I reacted in, in self-defence, you know, reacted in self-defence. I'd been arrested. Police arrested me. Um, I knew I had the footage, which would prove my innocence. I was arrested, I was put through, put, 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 put through the police station and released on bail. When I got home, I had the card, which I'd managed to keep. I put the card in to, for the footage and the footage was all blanked. Now, the boy who I physically hit says that I made a... I was arrested for a hate crime. He actually says I called him a non-binary tranny. <laughs> That's what he says I called him. Right. Now, I can totally prove I didn't. So I'm thinking, um, this isn't going anywhere. I can prove I didn't do it. Um, I've got home, the card's blank. At that point, even my family saw by the look on my face. And this isn't just an excuse. This is actually what happened. My family saw because then I thought, oh, man, I'm, fu- I'm fucked. I'm fucked here. I, forget- I have punched the boy, yeah, and then he needed a punch. And um, I have punched the boy, but I've been arrested on a hate crime. I then took the card to a forensic uh, retriever to get, the data, to get the footage of it, which the cameraman had deleted when the police were all rushing in. Um, and I didn't have it. So I was stressing for two days panicking for two days then i sat and watched an organization which i know full well what it's about i'm seeing i don't know how many people here are aware of even where the funding and the donations go for black lives matter have any of you followed this they go to the t- to 10 white rich people to 10 wh- but, but I, I know all of this yeah so I, me, I despise for me you're, you're, we're coming off a little bit well, because well, okay what, so, so then, in, and then, and then i saw the statues yeah then i saw the statues and i didn't just see right. the statues i saw I saw desecration of war memorials. And let me tell you, yeah, right. that, got, that gets me angry. And, it get, and in fact, if I saw someone do it now, I'm gonna get really angry. It, and that doesn't mean anything other than every man, every man with red blood in his body got angry watching what they done on our war, war memorials, on sacred monuments that you, are there to- re- Listen, you have every right to be upset. But everyone, right? Hang on, you have, I will say, you have every right to be upset at what you feel are your war memorials being um, desecrated. Yep. Also in that rant though, you, you made a point yep. to bring up the crime in America, whereas black people- Which crime? You said black people um, commit, committed a certain amount of crime upon white people, yep. okay. right? Yep. And white people committed a certain amount of crime upon black people. Yep. This, is why I, this is why I said, we never get a- um, Oh, well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you straight. Why, why, why bring that up? What I'll, was the I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why, because 
Black Lives Matter is an organisation and it's, and it's worked with my friends. My friends generally believe that black people are being hunted down and murdered every day by police officers. They generally believe, if I ask you now, is the United States a racist country? Is it? The United States was, in my opinion, was built upon racism. Built upon racism. Is it a racist country now? There are definitely racist elements of the United States. Is the white population racist? I don't believe the majority of the white population are racist. So in, in that year period that I spoke about, there were 600,000 interracial crimes. Yeah, interracial crimes. Interracial. Interracial. Black so, on white or white on black. Or different, yeah, different, different, mm -hmm. different. 440,000 of those crimes mm -hmm. were committed by black people on white people. Mm -hmm. yeah? 60,000 crimes were committed by white people. But there are more white people, people in America. Yeah, yeah, I know that there's more white people, so you'd expect there to be more white people committing crime, but there wasn't. There was literally 10 times more crime committed against white people by black people than vice versa. It's, it's, it's the same in this, and this is a fact, yeah? So when you look at any of these facts, and then you see what's playing out now, I sit and watch Turn the TV on thinking, say, look, if I read you this, I'll, Yeah, I'll, but there's a difference. Okay, let me tell you. Can I ask you this let, now? Let me tell you the difference yeah. between the crime in America yep. and um, when, it, when it comes to black and white people. Okay, yeah. and, I, and I said, when I spoke about the 2006 police rep uh, yeah. FBI report, right? When black people see crimes being committed against them, yep. we, we, and we don't get we don't get a verbal confirmation of someone saying, yeah, it was a ra yeah, I did it because it was a but racist I'm not, crime. So, hang on, hang on, hang I'm on. I'm not hang saying on. those 10 times more crimes were racist. Hang on, hang on. The, the police in the UK, right, are not immune from the same thing, right? But we never get... If, if I take you back to 1998, there's a guy called Christopher Alder, right? He's a black paratrooper. Yeah, killed in police custody. Killed in, in police custody. Croydon? No, in Hull. He was in Hull. I remember Found there's a video of it. face down... Trousers down by his ankles, yep. right? Police officers laughing over his dead body. I remember. Sheku Bayo, 2015, a father of two, 31 year old, okay, went, was arrested by police for breach of peace or something like that, right? Died in hospital from being arrested. In Bedford? Uh, I can't remember where it was, but they, were, he, they found 23 separate injuries upon this guy. The police in the UK, yeah, yeah. and the police in the US. I sat down on my show and I spoke to Lee Jasper. Yep. Right? He said he, when he was growing up and he and the police were harassing them, they used to flash, he said they flashed their NF badge at them and let them know exactly what time it is. Yeah, people just don't realise. They used to have little national front badges and they used to wear the police them. police used to wear yeah. them. And they used to wear them underneath their lapels. So when they used to get you, they used to flash their badge at you like that so you know That's from the get go, yeah. right? Now, I will kill you. I will kill you here today, man. Right, okay. Get away with it. You know, there were police officers who would pull you up on the street mm. and say, listen, you fucking nigger. Make sure whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. If you're not complying right away, you're mm. not looking down and showing deference to the uniform right away, yeah. you're getting battered. The police in the UK... We know who Lynn Jasper is, though, didn't well, don't we? I've, listen, Tommy, I'm sitting down with you. People tell you, so people yeah, say know you're, 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 you're yeah, far, right? They say, oh, we know who Tommy Robinson is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so people have got opinions. And I sit down with anyone, I don't but care. Again, but what I'm trying to say is the, horrific, police, yeah? the police in the UK and the police in the US okay. have very similar stories. But and the, black, hang on, yeah. and black people in the UK yeah. know this and the black people in the US know this. There's not much separating. The but, black, but, hang on, hang on. There's not much yeah. separating black people in the US and the UK. All that's separating them is a quote-unquote boat trip, okay? That's all that separates us. So when we see that happen over there, and when they see it happen over here, we feel it because the same thing happens. And I want, and I want white people to understand this, but it seems like they get angry and upset. Not angry and upset. So in the last 10 years, 163 people have died in police custody. Yeah? Uh, 13 of them have been black, okay? The 9% arrest rate for the black community, eight, an 8% 8 death rate. The white community... Where, says, where does the statistics from? There's statistics from the government. Where you can, I'll send you a link to everything I'm mm -hmm. saying. I'll give you a link. 79% mm -hmm. arrest rate for the white community, 85% death rate for the white community within police custody. You're more likely to have died in police custody being a white male in this country. You actually believe that? There's no, this is a fact. These are, these, these are, this is the problem. These are the actual numbers. Are you, t are you talking about the same police force who have to give the statistics, the same police force that in 2006 we've already shown to be infiltrated by white supremacists. I'm just saying, is, is, is a, that what you're saying? I'm saying that the data that we have to go on of the people who have been murdered, if I, if I ask you, who's, have you, who's Chris Donald? I don't know who Chris Donald is. No? Gavin Hopley? 
<laughs> these white people that have died in police custody. Ross Parker. I'm guessing they're white people. No, I'll tell you, Chris, Chris Donald was the first racially motivated murderer in this country. They cut off his penis and fed it to him. He was butchered, stabbed, set on who, fire. Who done that? Uh, uh, a gang, yeah. What I'm saying is, and the purpose for it, they kidnapped him because he was white. The fact that you don't know who what, he is. What black people did? No. No, Pakistani's actually done that one. But the, the fact... the fact, nothing to do with me or, no, no, or black what, people. No, what I'm saying is racial murders. You've never heard of him. Neither has anyone watching this. You've, okay, show me a bunch of black people killing a white guy. You've never heard of any of show these Show me people. a bunch of black people killing a white guy. I'm not saying there's a bunch of black people. Show me a bunch of white people killing a black guy. The, the LAPD. Yeah, but we're on about... Uh, see, my, my, my point is... My point is, I'm on, about, I'm on about in England, and you know many people in our country... Many people, I know people who have been victims of, of racism. I know girls that have been kidnapped and murdered. So when we see all everything now is generated on race, yeah, you'll get a lot of people sitting there thinking, but hold on, there, there was a boy that killed uh, two weeks ago in Batley, a young 19-year-old boy butchered and murdered by a Pakistani gang, a young white boy and another racist murder. No one knows their names. You know when Chris Donald was murdered? They, they kidnapped him 15 years old. They p picked him up off the street, 15 years old, put him in a car, they didn't know who he was. Their purpose for taking him was because he was white. They drove him around Glasgow. They stabbed him, tortured him. They cut his penis off. Who done this? Who done this? A, a, a gang. The main lad's name was. When you say a gang, a Pakistani gang. Okay. Yeah. That's Pakistani got nothing gang. to do with me. No, 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 I, I, no. It's not. I'm not. This isn't a black it's issue. Nothing to do with black lives. No, my, it's not, it's no, nothing to no, do with black people. No, the issue is this was not reported. Okay, and none of the. So when we talk about racism, when George Floyd's killed, it's blown up across the world as a racist murder. Yeah. The whole world's talking about it. They were From a police force that's already been shown for the FBI to be infiltrated by white supremacists. The same police force that two, uh, a year before a black police officer murdered a white woman. Now that murder was discussed in murder. What I'm saying is, is there any evidence it was a racist murder? Like I said, we don't, we don't get verbal confirmations of racism. Four of, the people, four of the people Tommy, there, two of are, them are, weren't are, white. Are you a racist? No, I'm not a racist. Right, okay. Do you think that I've ever asked a white person they've said they are? Do you think you've ever asked a black person who says they are? No, I'm saying, where does this we go? don't get verbal We have to start looking at actions, Tommy. We can't listen it, it, to people's words anymore. Is the UK a racist country? The population? I don't believe the majority of the UK are racist. So no. say, 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 for example, you tell me why. Between 2015 and 2018, white people killed 27 black people. In between what years? 2015 and 2018, yeah. white people murdered 27 black people. Right, okay. Black people murdered 97 white people. In that period, yeah? In that, in that three-year period. Now, anyone, when we're looking at race bait in politics, which is what we're, we're heading towards, everyone is going to start digging up every figure of everything and saying, what about this? What about that? Which is what, what we... I saw a headline the other day that said, black man, white woman calls police after argument with black man over dog. It's like, what? Everything is now racialised. Every single thing. Now what I'm saying, and, and no one, when all of this is going on, no one's looking at the issues or the reasons. I haven't heard anyone, and now more than is ever... Is that in America you're talking about? That's in, that's in England. That's England's figure. In that same three-year period, 165 black people were killed by black people. In that three-year period. Let me, let me, let, I, I'll, I'll try and explain, I'll try and let you understand the reason why people look at it as race-based. Yeah, yeah. So if we go back, right, to the lynching era of America, right, the lynching era where, let's say over 100 years, black men were lynched. Right? If you look at that era, you will find postcards and pictures of lynchings. What you will find are people made a day out of a lynching, of the killing of another human being, Tommy. But you know what struck me in those, in those pictures? There were children. There were children in those pictures, right, who didn't seem to be bothered by seeing another black man strung up, burnt and castrated. But you know what's so funny? If you were to take a dog, a kitten, some other animal, string it up, yeah, people burn it. No, a child will be, dis they will be distraught. They will be, they couldn't take it. So what we have to understand is when we say black lives matter, we're not saying they matter. Hang on, we're not, not saying they matter. matter. We're not saying they black matter more than anybody else. We're saying there's a prevailing psychology, okay, that sees a black life gone and it's like, yeah. Well, whatever. No, I don't believe there is. See, I, I believe the total opposite. I believe, that it, and many people believe in this country, that that's the exact scenario for white girls' lives. We've had five murdered just in Telford, 1,400 kidnapped and raped in one city, 1,000 1, gone in another city. And let's, be, let's have it fact, factually, they didn't matter. 
because the police have come out and actually accepted they didn't care. Yeah? And they didn't do anything because of race relations and didn't want to be deemed as racist because now we see all this screaming racist for everything. What it actually does is silence the ability to discuss these issues. I'm so happy we're here today discussing it. So am I. I think this is such an important debate that needs to be I had. I told you last time I spoke yeah. to you, right? that freedom of speech, we are freedom of speech advocates. I am, it's I am so free, important. I don't, but I don't believe that freedom of speech, okay, should be used to incite. But I haven't incited anything. That rant didn't incite anything to no, the, no, the rant, okay, yeah, the rant. Come on. No, no, it incited people to come to London, but that was after, I'd say, two weeks of sitting back. And do you know what? If that rant didn't happen, then Winston Churchill's statue by now probably would have been ripped down. And, and many of things. By? Uh, by Antifa. Who are BLM? Whether you like it or not, Antifa is BLM. And, and my thing is, the black community now, more than ever, have never have need someone to separate their community from that Marxist mess. Because what we're going to witness now in the build up to 2020 election in the United States, yeah? before, the, before Donald Trump's re-election in the United States or attempt at re-election, we are going to see mass race problems. And those race problems will be imported into this country. And they are going to cause such a divide. Okay. And I want, and, I want well, and whether people and like me or not. And would you have added to that? Would you have I totally added, added to it? To it. I totally added okay, to it. Okay, so you own up to that. Oh, I totally added fuel okay. to it. I, I totally added fuel to it. And this week, I've spent this week, I put my hands up and, and anyone who mentioned my name on TV, I contacted. Uh, we're sitting here together. You contacted me. I yeah. contacted you. Yeah, yeah. I contacted a, a fella called Levi. I, I nearly got killed this week. Yeah? I went into Newham because like this, I just turn up. Yeah, I turn up with camera. People are trying to do break you not under, Do you not understand how people feel about no, you? No, I do. I do. Which, you know what? Some Muslims feel about me like that. And I walk around and Muslims wear... Muslims feel the same way about me. So. Yeah, but I wear that hat. I, I wear that hat. And I happily wear that hat. Yeah? And you see, if I got killed by a Muslim tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll die with my head up high. If I end up clashing with young black youth, mm -hmm. when I'm not against young black youth, yeah? In fact, I'd support the black community in any of their fights for equality. When, when I read all this, you know, the thing that winds me up so much, yeah? You have a Marxist organisation. You then look at criminality. So, so after I went on my rant against BLM, OFB, I'd never heard of OFB, but OFB made me a focal point of their posts. Yeah? They're, a, they're a rap group. So then I thought, let's have a look at OFB. So I researched OFB. OFB have killed four black men. Okay? They're a rap gang from London. Right. They really care about black lives, don't they? One of them was 15, one of them was 19. They have taken four black lives away from families, yet they're angry with me and want to kill me because I had a rant against Black Lives Matter. Now, one of the boys from OFB, I think Boogie B or something, one of the rapper's names who killed someone, he killed him because his father gave him a chain on the only day he'd ever met him. Yeah? Now, why was it the only day he'd ever met him? Okay? Because, because the family breakdown has been organised, planned, orchestrated in this country. 25% of black children don't have a dad. 19% of mixed race children don't have a dad. That's 700,000 kids in, in our country every year growing up without a dad. What does that lead you to? Poverty, crime, gangs. Who fills the place of the dad? OFB, rap gangs. When I, I looked at their song that's had 14 million views, do you know what they're rapping about? Shanking, chiving, stabbing, shooting. That's all it's about. And I don't hear any of this mentioned. Hang on. I don't hear any, I, I don't hear any on, of this. Hang on. While I do not condone any of that behaviour, yep. we currently live in a society that condones violence across the board. You can go to Hollywood, okay? All the, most of the, you, um, you, the you films that come out of Hollywood are violent. They yep. condone and they glorify shooting and stabbing and all this kind of stuff. And like I said, I don't condone But what I mean is, what, the reason why I get so frustrated, in 1960 in the United States, 80% of black households had a mother and father. Right. Now it's 20%. I, now, I agree. Do you know where that's come from? It's come from Planned Parenthood. What's Planned Parenthood? Margaret Sanger, the, 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 the woman who... Was a racist. She, she was a just, eugenicist. She was a eugenicist. She was I KKK. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she was KKK. She, you, there, was a, there was an expose done on Planned Parenthood before the last election. People ringing up, can I make a massive donation just to abort black babies? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. yeah? I, I heard, so yeah. I follow all of this. The reason for poverty, the reason for criminality, the reason 3,000 black people have shot each other in, in, in Chicago in one year, the reason for all of this, black is lives... Black, is black, black lives... Black you, lives matter, support it all! They support every on, single you, bit of it! You, you think black lives matter, what, the reason for this? The reason for most of this criminality, the reason for this breakdown in society is all coming from the destruction of the family, yeah? That's what I believe. I, I would agree with that. That's what I believe. I would agree what do black that. lives matter want? We disrupt the Western Western's prescribed nuclear family, family structure. structure. So to see all of this and to know all of this, and then to watch an organisation come into our country and be rallied behind by the black community, I just sit and think, 
really? Like, you haven't researched it? And, and when I, I had around a little mix, I actually quite like, like little mix, yeah? But I had around a little mix. Have you not researched it? Has Anthony Joshua not researched it? Have all these Premier League footballers, have you not researched what this organisation is? Have you not listened to the many black commentators there are in the United States who are crucifying this lot? Okay. They want to bring, the only way they can get Marxism is to bring destruction You've of this. You've definitely got a bee in your bonnet about Black Lives Matter. Uh, yeah, yeah. You do you know see? why? Because do you know why? Because it seems to have, in one foul swoop, turned um, me as the figurehead against the black community. Yeah? Because of the no one forced you to say what you said. Yeah, but what I said was no against, one but what I said was against said. BLM, and BLM is genius branding, genius branding by George Soros and Marxism, Tommy, in, in order to prevent I, you from I, the end. I have, I have, I it's have harder been, to talk about than it is. I, Islam. I have been speaking upon many things for years on the internet, right? Yep. And at no point for myself have I had to go back and apologise for what I've said. No, I'm not, hang on, do you know why? I'm apologising apologize for how it, was, you know how it was received. Do you know why? Because I'm in control of my thoughts, feelings and mm. actions at all times. But are you, it seemed, on that day, because you're apologising for it, I'm apologizing, you're not in control I'm of your thoughts and feelings I'm, and actions. I'm apologising. So, hang on, as a leader, yeah, yeah. Tommy, as a leader yeah. of people who have people following him, right, you have a responsibility to be in control of your thoughts and feelings and actions because they will follow, and, and like you said, you in, will incite something. So are you now telling me that you're not in control of your thoughts and feelings? I'm telling you that, no, I'm telling you that I apologise for how it was received. Because my rant... You apologise for how it was received? If you want to play my rant... Tell me, you had like play my veins rant. popping out of your neck, bro. Yeah, I know, yeah, I was angry, bro. And that was... Uh, that was so it's random. not about how it was received, it's how you gave the message. Yeah, 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 I should have given it in a more controlled... The next video I've done, which my mate rang me up and said, bruv, the next video I've done, I've done an hour-long video showing what Black Lives Matter as an organisation is. Right. And he's like, shit, why didn't you just do that? Why didn't you do that? I said, because I, it's like that. I was angry and I live streamed. So is that what happens when you're angry? Well, I ran. Remember, if I said to you, if it's not in you, can't Mate, come out. It wasn't out racist. You. I'm talking against BLM. I'm talking against an organisation which most black people in this country don't even know what it is. Let's and unfortunately now, many of the Premier League, Premier League saying, get down on one knee. What for Marxism? Because that's what it is. You may see it as a slogan and people say, oh yeah, but uh, it, we're, we're marching under a slogan. We're marching because we agree with these little bits. Like, can, you, can you do that with National Front? Can you think, okay, grow, can you do that with Hitler? Well, he loved animals. Well, I love animals, so I'll march under that banner. You have, you're marching under the banner of an organisation. It's, again, it's genius. Did you watch do you, Formula One this you, week? Do, did, yeah, I did. Did actually. you see how they wore a war? I, I saw it. Did you see what they wore? Do you End racism. Yeah, but Tommy. Because they don't want to march under Tommy, that Black Lives Matter. Do you understand? That's not because they're, they're racist. Un, do you understand the anger, though? Do you understand black people's anger and black people's fury at what happened with George? This is what I want to get from you. Do you understand the anger and the fury that they have by seeing a black man with a pol police officer's knee on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds? Do you understand I it? I do, yeah. Totally. You do? Yeah, totally. Look, again, if, if what we saw on our streets of London was an organisation coming out that was grassroots, that was led by people who were calling for unity, for equality, who were marching against... Look, as I said, I'm not a black man. I've, I've grown up in Luton Town. I've grown up with many black men, okay? Mm -hmm. But I can't speak every feeling of a black man in, in, in everyday life. But what I can say, growing up in Luton, I haven't seen some mass racist country that has oppressed the black community of Luton. I've seen equal opportunities for all of us. My, my, my black friends are totally successful, many of them. Mm -hmm. And um, so when we see all this... Everything seems to be aimed at racism, 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 racism. We're being told that what our country... What we're going to do in a, in a minute is yeah. we're going to take a break, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm we're going to let the studio audience ask both you and I questions because I'm sure they've got <laughs> a lot to say after we've spoken. Cool. But just before that, I'm just going to say um, the comedian Dave Chappelle, right, made a Netflix special called 846, which was the amount of time that the police officer had his knee on George Floyd's neck. In that, he said something that was profound to me. He said, this is the last stronghold for civil discourse. After that, it's rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat. -tat -tat. That's what Dave Chappelle said, right? He said, he's a, hang on, he's a comedian. He said it in jest. But what he's saying is, is that if people don't talk, talk and are rights. able to get their point across, their next thing to do, mm. if they don't feel like they're heard, is to try and touch you to hear them. You see, when there was right. a terrorist attack in Reading recently, I was away. There was a terrorist attack in Reading, and it come up that it was a Black Lives Matter demonstration yeah. on the same field. I shit myself. Truthfully shit myself up. Why? 
Because I thought, if, if any way this is someone who's gone out, because I can see the anger. You're saying the anger in, in one community. There's anger across the whole country with the divisive politics which are now breeding. Do you know what I think? I th I, do you know what I think? I, think I thought that was going to be Black Lives Matter supporters I think, a lot of, I think a lot of white people get angry unjustly. You, I, think, I think white people have had things go in a certain way for so long do you want me that a, the minute... Do, do you want me to hand you a hundred names of white people who have been burdened? the minute burdened. or the second something seems to switch or change, they're like, oh my God, it's being changed. Like, no, it's not changing that much. Just chill out. We, uh, listen, Tommy, in, hang, okay. on, hang on, Tommy. So, how, in, me, hang on, okay. in 1984, right? Yeah, yeah. There were the, um, what rights were there? There were, there, there were the miners' rights, yep. right, in 1984, right? Police and uh, civilians clashed, right? Then you had the poll tax rights, 1990, right? Again, police, civilians clashed. 2004, you had the Countryside Alliance riots. Police cracked open skulls of people. Right. What happens in this country is there are times in this country where police and civilians clash. You and your rant was like, you oh, just said, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang yeah. on. And I'm not condoning it, but what happens after the riots or what after the protests? The country move on. Okay, they attempt to get better. You were acting in your rant like the whole, like the sky was falling down because the police, some police got got hit no, or got it, hurt. No, 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 no. It's not. It's because I know what that organisation is, and I know it's now here. You and it's keep, worked. You keep bringing it back to BLM. It, what, what did I say in my rant? BLM, 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 BLM. Popping out of my head. All I said was BLM. Everything I said, I didn't talk about anything other than BLM. Of course I'm bringing it back to BLM. My entire rant was against BLM. When you say that the white community get unjustifiably angry when they, they see change, yeah? Right? The black community in this country have rioted over Mark Duggan being killed, yeah? mm -hmm. being murdered, and rioted recently over George Floyd's death, okay? The white protested. There's fringe there's elements. Difference. There's fringe okay. elements that okay, we write. Okay, okay. No, okay. It's, it's not just a right. Okay, let's look, okay? Because our daughters in every single town and city have not just been raped, but they've been murdered. I yeah? agree. So when you say we get unjustifiably angry, we didn't tear the whole country down. But we are Berlin, not no? Pakistani Muslims. I'm not Tommy. saying, and I'm not saying you are, but I'm, I'm making a comment that you said the white people get angry. White people have had a lot to get no, angry. No, you can get angry at We've got little a lot children to get being raped. We've got I, a lot I totally to understand you little children being raped. You can get angry at that. Yeah. Black people are not Pakistani. I need, I need you to understand. Yeah, but I'm not Black saying you people are not, are not no, Pakistani not, Muslim. But I haven't said you are. Okay. I'm talking about anger. You're on about people getting angry and unjustifiably angry. I'm saying there's many white people in this country who have got a hell of a lot to be angry about with what's happening in their towns and cities. There's many people. I was one of them growing up in Lewin. I was angry. But it seemed like you directed it at us. I'm not directing it at you. We don't, listen, let me tell you something about black people, Tommy, right? We don't, we're, we're not a, a pro-actionary people. We are reactionary people. For instance, if I was to get up right now and punch you in your face, right? And then we got into a fight and you pummeled my head in, right? Not gonna happen, but if it happened, right? <laughs> if it was to happen, we would- I'll do I, all right for a little man. We, 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 we would understand. It'd be the best loser you've ever fought. We, we would understand, <laughs> right? We would understand that the reason why you did that is because of my action. Yeah. You didn't just get up. I started it, I done it. Black people are a reactionary people, Tommy. When you see riots, protests, it's, to, it's, it's the reaction to the action of racism. Regardless and I want you to of, okay. understand that. Now, I, but regardless of my involvement or my rant, do you think we've gone backwards or forwards in the last four weeks in this country for race relations? Well, you, you helped us go backwards, Tommy. Oh, I helped us. Mm. Nothing to do with BLM. It was me. You helped us go back. I smashed you, up the. You I smashed up. I smashed. I smashed up the senator. You potentially. I set threw, fire to you. You flag. potentially threw a petrol bomb on an already little fire. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did anyone? Does anyone even know the name of the person who set fire to the union flag on the senator? Has anyone even found out who they the are? The union flag. Yeah, our flag on the senator at the war memorial. The senator for Commonwealth fires. Who done it? Who who set the fire? Who set fire to it? There's a black lady who was pictured everywhere. Do it. It's one of the things I got angry about. Right. There's a visual image of her getting up and burning the flag on the cenotaph. I don't. I'm just letting you know. At yeah. the Black Opinion, we don't. We don't deal with taking down statues. We don't condone. Um, do you think you need to stop off. it being done hang in on. your name? Hang on. No. Do you think you need to listen, stop it being done in your name? Let me tell you something. Name? Just like, listen, Tommy. Just like you said to me last time, right? There are people in. There are people that follow you. I wish. The, white. I, hang on, hang on, I wish. I hang wish on, black, on, Tommy, Tommy. I wish black lads come out and say no one's smashing up these war memorials because we're coming people, down. There are people that follow Some you who are actually. white. Mm -hmm. And if I and, and if I was wow. to and if I was to say, oh, because they're white, they're with Tommy Robinson and they support him, 
then you'd say, actually, no, because you said you condemn. I'm showing you right now we are condemning that. We, we're not about taking down statues or burning off flags. As a matter of fact, when it's time for me to build my nation, right, and I start putting out my statues, no one's touching my statues. You, you, you'll, you'll get the full force of the law. Okay, so we're not about taking that. But, but the full force of the law wasn't implemented. The police actually moved people out of the way. And that's why I said, do you know why I held my hands up afterwards and said I, I regretted it? Because I think I walked into it. I can't stand there and say the black community are being used by Marxists to cause disruption and then me run in the middle of it, which is exactly what I've bloody done. I played straight into the middle of it. I played straight into the middle of it. But So you regret it? I totally regret it, yeah. Okay. I totally regret I totally regret it. Um, yeah, totally. But because you don't understand the disruption that caused everyone. Like not from people, when I see my mates, I think, bruv, really? Really? You've got to be smarter then. You've known me 25 years? So your, your black friends have disowned you? Uh, some of them, yeah. Some Do you feel like you deserve to get disowned? Not a chance. No, I don't. I think that if they speak I don't think you saw how you saw. I don't think you saw what we saw. No, it, 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 as I said, play it. Play, play me the point. I don't think. What I, get, what I get disarmed is, I think to my mate, what, you haven't even researched this? What, you're out marching and you don't even know what you're marching about? What, you're out ripping down war memorials and you don't even know why they're ripping them down? You don't even know what this organisation's going to do? This organisation's going to destroy race relations in this country. Over the next 12 months, whether you like it or not, a lot of people are going to sit there and say, he told us so. And unfortunately, that's going to be Tommy Robinson told you so. Because I'm, going to, I'm telling you now, that Marxist organisation is not finished yet in this country. And until it divides race, similar to the United States, where Labour will totally play their part in doing it. They'll whip it all up, wind everyone up. Black people literally think they're being hunted down and killed. And, and, and I, I, I can give you the facts. In, in America... No, statistically... In America, statistically, we have no found in the last couple of months yeah. people mysteriously hung on trees. Okay, statistically... Mysteriously hung on trees. Black people are being hunted down and killed, Tommy. And so are white people. Proportionally... Proportionally, so in one year, nine unarmed black people were killed by police. Nine unarmed black people were killed by police. Six of them, it turned out, were totally justified because they attacked the police officers. The other two, two of them are being charged. One man has been killed, unarmed police, in that one year. In that same year, 19 white people, unarmed, were killed by police. My point is, yes, there's total wrongs. Yes, you've got some racist police officers. You've got just some generally scumbag police officers. But they, are they being disproportionately hunted down and butchered? No. Is there a difference in the kill rate? No. Not here or in, not, not in the UK or the United States. And I'm just giving you facts. These are the, these are the numbers. Now, if, if everyone wants to get angry, get angry based on facts. Don't get angry based on emotion. Don't get angry because The Guardian told you to get angry. Don't get angry because this organisation who wants you to riot. How many people are going to go jail for Black Lives Matter riots so far? Do you think they care? Do you think they give a shit that the youth are losing their whole future? Do you think they care at all? Do you think they actually care one bit about black lives? I know they don't, because I've done my research into them. So it frustrates me when people are getting angry with me based on this. Because I think I haven't had a rant about black people. I've had a rant against Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is not even run by black people. None of your funding goes to black people. They haven't given a penny to George Floyd's family. It's a total con. Yeah? And it's and a total that, con that I feel gutted that so many in the black community have been sold a lie and, and, and just followed it, just blindly followed it through emotion and because it has the word black in its name. All right, on that, we are going to take a break now. And when we come back, the studio audience are going to get to <laughs> ask us both <laughs> some <laughs> questions. Everyone I'm sure it. they're, I'm they're soaking, waiting man. to ask. I'm soaking. So, um, yeah, everyone take a break. And then we'll stand, see you in I then stand up, bro. Ain't no sunshine when she's 